In this video you'll find out how I made a copy of battle system from another game, what steps I took on the way and one of the fears I have as a fresh born YouTuber. My name is Alex, I'm making games and I'm posting videos about it, subscribe if you didn't and let's begin. This time I want to share one of my fears with you, I'm constantly afraid people will drop the video. That's why most of my videos are fast paced and there is no space between my words, so you don't really have time to think of what I said. I'm trying to entertain you like a Michael Bay with non-stop in action and in this video I want to make a clip of faith and just to try to make it a bit slower. I hope you'll still like it and if you do, press the like button. Meanwhile, I'll begin this new episode of devlog. If you watched previous video, you might notice environment has changed. I don't know if I'll keep this one, still looking for the perfect match, but I guess it's okay as a placeholder. Now it feels kind of boring to just run around and I need some enemies to beat, so let's open our reference game and see what battle system is about. Alright guys, so this is Moonscars, game we making. Obviously, I cannot pull off this level of graphics, you need the entire team for that and lots of years of experience, but I guess the game feel we can do something similar. So let's analyze the character, we actually have same behavior right now, so she has just three simple basic attacks, she can dash and she can do counter attack and there is a jump and there is no double jump actually, so maybe I'll remove double jump from my game as well. Now when I say that this is the main set of tools she uses, there is also a special attack and we're gonna do something about that later, for now let's just focus on the, let's say, basic layout of the battle system. For that I wanna find an enemy and analyze it a bit. I need to get rid of this uh, flying enemy, I don't need it now. So you can see these two enemies, they're like a basic soldier who just gives you a simple attack and this is what we're gonna do in this video. They walk in left and right and they chase in you once they are in the range of the attack they perform one simple attack that's it and there is a flashlight that tells you you can do counter attack if they hit you you're getting a flash a bit and some particles and if you hit them they just flash for a split second and there are some particles as well what you notice instantly if you attack them they won't stop anyway so basically you're trying to see who is stronger you or them and you can beat enemies just like that by smashing the button but there are lots of enemies on the level and you're just alone so probably at some point you'll die and because of that you need to use tools you have to counter them and what you can do is to do counter attack and dodge right this is the main tools here you can dodge and you can counter attack and this is what Dark Souls actually about. If you remember the gameplay from there, as I remember, you can roll around to dodge attacks and you can counter attack to perform a special attack. And that's most of your tools you're using. So this game does pretty perfect replication of the feeling you have in the Dark Souls and I guess we can uh, create that as well. So what we need to do now is to make a walking enemy who comes to you and attacks you if you are in range. And this is a prototype stage so I can just use a red square sprite to show his counter attack window and then I need an ability to counter him to push him back on a counter attack. I need to make sure he won't be stopped if I'll attack him he'll still perform his attack but I want to make attack more noticeable so maybe some knockback maybe a bit of particles or some flash effect will make it better maybe all stuff together and I can dash around to avoid some attacks as well so I have only two tools to stop him and this is kind of basic enemy but if you'll go further you can find enemies that are really strong and you cannot do anything unless you counter attack or dodge if you don't do that you'll certainly die look at me I just get one hit and if I'll try to smash him he'll kill me yeah so we define the basic for the battle system you have simple attacks that you use to damage the enemies you can counter attack to stun him for a certain time and you can dodge in case the danger is really big and i guess we did that pretty well there is no hp system but even now you can see that i'm getting hit pretty often if i'm not careful enough it feels pretty tense i feel like i need to be careful and quick plus with the second ability you feel like you have variety of tools to beat this enemy or any other enemy that will come up later. Imagine to mix it with some drop system and some cool skill upgrades or stats and we'll have pretty nice RPG here. Also I have announcement to make, I'm not just making this prototype for me, I see people in the comments asking about tutorials so I guess when I'm done with the prototyping I'll make a complete series on how to make this game. Subscribe if you don't want to miss that, put any comments if you have any ideas what you want to see in this game or tutorial series later and remember we don't play games. We make them.